uh, Earl Strzok came on as manager as Tom retired. Uh, Earl was one of a kind. Never find another one like him. He liked people too, and people liked him. Uh, there was never uh, any anything that uh, caused you to wonder why he was there. He was uh, he was a lobbyist there for so many years, and the uh, state lobbyists thought enough of him to make him the what they call him the speaker of the house of the lobbyists, whatever their title was. Uh, he was the one that he could, could accomplish things that nobody else thought could be done. He went about it in a way that nobody even got mad at him because they did things they didn't like. I don't know how to express it, but he could do things quietly, without fanfare, and without need of recognition, and get the job done better than anybody else I know. And when uh, it came time for him to be, for us to have a new manager, many on the board wanted to just appoint him. And others said, no, let's, let's let him earn his way because the public didn't know him as well, perhaps outside of Illinois. And so we called in a committee to study for uh, a new management ship and went through the proper procedures to select the manager, and he came out as the one they, they recommended. And the vote of the board was unanimous that he would be the manager of uh, AIEC on Tom's retirement. And uh, I'd, I served with as a director of AIEC for six months with him as manager, but I found him to be most uh, uh, complete in everything that he wanted to do. And he knew who to help, who to call on for the right help. And uh, he could get the job done without being in the way.